And with two down, here is Ed Hearn, who had his first big league hit in the second inning. He's a youngster who was drafted by Philadelphia. He had an appointment to the West Point Military Academy and decided he'd be a baseball player. He would have made an impressive-looking general. He's 6'3", 215. made it to that the penthouse of all my dreams as a young boy. I mean I had I had sacrificed so much to be there, to get to that point, no doubt. I never I probably never really dreamt that I would play in the big leagues, let alone be in a World Series and be on the winning team. There's a couple of gifts I want to give to you, and one of them is a little perspective today. Just when I had life in the palm of my hands, I mean I had it right where I wanted it. It was jerked out from underneath me. But this is a man who, first of all, was the short end of the David Cohn trade. The Royals gave away a two-time Cy Young Award winner, and Ed took the heat for it because he got injured right away. On top of that, when his career ended, he had a kidney transplant, a life-threatening blood disorder, and a life-threatening sleeping disorder disease. And when we interviewed him a month before, or two months before, he had had cancer. So I went from the penthouse to the outhouse. What do you do when you're facing adversity, when you're facing change, and you think you have no control over it? I was feeling sorry for myself, because life had thrown me a curve. This is potentially a strikeout curve. I was having the mother of all pity parties. Life throws you curves, so you gotta keep swinging. You gotta keep swinging. Because you can't hit a home run sitting on the bench. Or worse yet, sitting in stands. I had, I had dreamed of being a big league ball player. That's all I wanted to do. And then um, uh, things change. You know, of course, as I travel around the country speaking today, I find that we all face changes in, in life. We face challenges. And uh, uh, fortunately, the things that have happened in my life, I now am able to go out there and empower other people, share with them a message of, of hope and, and that we can overcome these challenges. Today, guys, we're talking with, with Ed Hearn. Anybody who knows me knows I'm a, a big Mets fan. Ed was a contributing member of the 1986 World Championships Mets team. He was a catcher. Uh, he was drafted by our Phillies. I live very close to uh, the Phillies AAA team. Uh, he spent four years in the Phillies minor league system playing with the likes of Ryan Sandberg um, and I'm sure a lot of other great players. He also won a bunch of minor league championships um, and you've become a sought after motivational speaker. So welcome. Thanks, Ryan. It's great to be with you. I've, I've, I didn't realize you were quite so close to Philly land there. Oh, absolutely. Now, we're, we are so close. We're about uh, 10 minutes from the uh, AAA uh, Phillies team, the Iron Pig. So we see a lot of the players come and go. It's, it's awesome to be so close. It was a fabulous organization back uh, in 1978 when I was drafted out of high school, fourth round with them. And, and you mentioned Ryan Sandberg. Uh, a couple of great things about Ryan. We uh, were roommates on the road, and we, uh, were, we shared co-MVPs at the end of that uh, rookie season. Awesome. 